Hello guys, this is Timothy Lee from Kajem TV. Today I review Hyundai Velosta Custom Fit Extreme Driving Edition. I know Custom Fit is not well known to abroad country except Korea. This edition car is just for the domestic market. For shortly I can explain Custom Fit. Custom Fit is kind of customer participant program. So um, Hyundai Motor Group get some suggestions or opinions from customers what they want for their car or what they want in design or performance or body parts as well so they get analysis their the customers opinions and they manufacture real car for the market based on customers opinions and the basically custom fit is made by h ombudsman program from hyundai and the H Ombudsman is, as I said, it's a participant program for customers. In 2016, first custom fit car was Sonata. It was the predecessor car, it's LF Sonata. But the Sonata custom fit is just a little bit cosmetic custom parts added. And uh, this time, Hyundai launched two models for custom fit. One is Veloster Extreme Driving Edition. And the other one is i30. But the i30 custom fit is just made 50 units, so it's already sold out. But the Veloster custom fit extreme driving edition is not limited produce. Basically, this car is the same appearance with normal Veloster 1.6 liter turbo. And when you see rear view, it's also the same with the Veloster turbo. Not like Veloster N, it has small rear spoiler here. Just a cute one and the same tail lamp not like Veloster N it has dual muffler Veloster N's one is bigger and it's split like a one in the left side and one in the right side and the rear diffuser looks like this I reckon it can help aerodynamic a little bit but I think mainly it's for the design that's it for the Extreme Driving Edition Velostar. But the main difference thing is it's placed in on the body. Because it has Bilstein shock absorber and the under brace bar and the stabilizer bar as well and the more stiff spring in suspension. So we can predict Velostar Extreme Driving Edition is more fun on the road. I think it is, it indeed. Veloster N is mainly focused on circuit, but the Veloster Extreme Driving Edition is, you can, you can use it for daily car as well. Okay, let's check Veloster's trunk. It's the same size with the normal version. So um, it has a lift button here, and it's not electrical, it's just a gas lift. Same space with the normal version. And uh, when, you lift, when you lift the deck, you can find another storage and it has no spare tire but it has tire repair kit and the emergency set as well and the rear seat can fold easily so um, if you fold the rear seat the space getting bigger like this so i think it's more useful for just for two persons I think this way is more useful for Veloster owner. Rear seat is not for comfortable trip. Okay, let's see Veloster Extreme Driving Edition's rear seat. It's the same space with the normal Veloster. Leg rooms like this, it's enough. But the problem is the headroom. Headroom is not so spacious. While driving, rear passenger will be bumped head to the roof. And the rear glass is very small because the Veloster is asymmetric design. Driver side has just one door, but the passenger side has two doors. So um, window glass is just very small to in the behind the driver seat. But the passenger seat window is enough. It's bigger than the left side. And the legroom is so tight because of the tunnel in the middle. And actually Veloster is a four-seat hatchback. It has cup holder and uh, storage in the middle. So just two passengers can sit in the back. 
and also fit room also very small so it's not fit for the adult foot it also have the net for the rear seat it's a standard in the rear of the driver seat it has a lever like this if you pull down the driver seat is going forward easy to get out okay let's check Veloster Extreme Driving Editions interior it's mostly same with the normal version so same material same display and the same buttons same cluster as well when you look around inside the material is the same with the normal version it's just a cheap plastic so it's a little bit shame otherwise button function is very good push push or rotation everything is okay and the, it also has wireless smartphone charging pad under the center fascia and it has power outlet as well cigar jack and uh, two cable outlets and aux here around gear knob you can find many buttons driver selector and the heating cooling seating button and steering wheel heating button here and the cup holders and the side brake no button side brake it's good when you look into the cluster two analog type speedometer and tachometer and the digital display in the middle in the center but it's korean but uh, it's, um, it's mostly same with the normal version and the special thing is engine sound so you can choose three different modes so refined dynamic extreme if you choose extreme mode you can hear the artificial exhaust sound so check this out it's too artificial and the dynamic it's getting quiet and refined smaller and you can also turn it off and I think natural engine sound is okay so I recommend just to turn it off artificial engine sound and you can also adjust each each frequency low middle high so as your preference and this is accelerator pedal response so middle low middle high you can see the changing of graph it adjusts the exhaust sound depending on the accelerator so if you choose high so it's getting higher very rapidly but uh, moderate it's just a moderate tone and the low yes like this and uh, there is another option like uh, my engine sound so um, you can save six different engine sound depending on your favor and this is option table the base price is 26 million one approximately about 26 thousand dollars US dollars test car has a few options so the price is going up to 29 million one it's about 29 thousand dollars the option added are natural leather seat and uh, Hyundai Smart Sense and seat package 2 seat package 2 is a cooling cooling function and the tech package 2 is for the head up display like this here head up display is changing depending on drive mode so this is sport mode and when you choose others it change just like this it has four different drive mode normal sport echo smart same as with other hyundai cars okay let's drive veloster extreme driving edition it's the same powertrain with normal veloster turbo 
So um, 1.6 turbo engine and 7 speed dual clutch transmission. The power output is 204, 204 horsepower and uh, max torque is 27 kg force meter. As I said, it has three different engine sound mode. So um, you can turn it everything off or you can simply turn it on. First we go with dynamic mode. It is okay. I think dynamic mode is the best or, or just turn it off everything. Okay. And as I said, it has some good features for the performance improvement. Birstein shock absorber and uh, stiff spring for suspension and the stabilizer bar as well and each bush is also getting stiffened when you go into the corner you can easily go into the deep, deepest corner and at that time this car keeps stability I think Veloster N is too much sport for just a normal road I think it's mainly focused on circuit or track but uh, Veloster Extreme Driving Edition is you can also enjoy it on the road like this winding road even in downhill it can deliver very joyful driving to the driver because it is very stable I think the Michelin PS4 tire and the suspension setting is so good uh, Velost N is too stiff but this one is is very affordable for the normal load, normal drive. Just one thing is minus is the turbo lag. When you accelerate, it needs a time, it needs a moment. Just one sec and boom. That's a little bit shame, but it's okay. But this okay. Yes, did you see it? I felt no pain. Oh, it's okay. It's not like uh, Velost N. Velost N, when you go over the speed bump like that, it's just so, so painful for your hip and the back. And uh, check this acceleration, 0 to 100. Stay. between 7 and 8 7 point something somewhere best thing of Veloster Extreme Driving Edition is suitable power you can handle everything in this car like uh, engine power and the suspension and the transmission as well I think Veloster Extreme Driving Edition is very affordable car for normal driver. Check this out, extreme sound. Yes, it's too artificial. No, turn it off. It has also good sound, I think. Just the sound is not not bad, and uh, handling is so good. I mean, very accurate and agile. So when you see the right side like this, okay, did you see? It? Just go into the deep corner very naturally, and then make driver very confident. Yes, bump. If I ride on Velost N, I cannot do like this. I have to, I must slow down on the 20 or on the 10. But in Velost Extreme Driving Edition, I can go up to 
30 km per hour. Yes. So, um, Velosta is a very joyful car. One minus thing is brake. I don't know why, but uh, when you push the brake, I think very little braking in the first phase. So um, you frighten and then you push it more and more deeply and deeply. Suddenly braking power go up. When you do full braking like this, I don't know why, but steering do shaking. Do, 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 do. I don't know why. The odometer has just a uh, nine nine thousand seven hundred ninety kilometers for this car. So I think that's not because of car condition. I think it's for it's because of just car setting. I reckon. Okay. That's it for the Veloster Custom Fit Extreme Driving Edition. It's just for Korean domestic market. So um, thank you for your time. And please subscribe my channel. And please leave a comment. Thank you very much. Thank you.